How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. Just going to do a basic walkthrough of, of how to get started. And what we're going to do is on this screen, we're just going to slide. We're going to choose our first language. So I'm going to choose English. Pick your region. Uh, I'm just going to set the language for that. And obviously best to do this when you have a Wi-Fi network that is available for you. And let's find our Wi-Fi. Larry H. Parker. Password is Yolamo Espanol. Just a funny thing from the old commercial. And so get your password in there. Join the network. And it's trying to find it right now. So we'll give it up. Oh, there we go. Uh, location services. Uh, I, I, I generally turn this off because um, this can be a battery drainer. However, for most people, this is a good thing to keep on. One, if someone were to steal your iPhone or you forget it somewhere, you can use uh, Find My iPhone to find it. It also helps with uh, Google Maps in terms of tracking your location. So I guess for now, we'll go ahead and just turn it on. We can turn it off later. Here we can set up the Touch ID, which will allow you to easily download apps. So I'm going to set this up really quick. And it just says, you're going to put your finger right over the button. See, like I'm doing just like that. Put it down and lift it until it fills it in. And it says adjust the grip. Okay. Keep that finger on there. It, it really wants to capture the different parts of your finger, so you don't want to just keep tapping the same way. You want to put in a backup password. Um, usually, one, two, three, four is like a really safe type bet. I think this needs six, which sucks. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull that away. I, I know you guys don't want to see it anyway, so no sense to put it in the video. We're going to put in our passcode as a backup just in case for whatever reason it can't read your fingerprint anymore. Uh, you can have it restored from an iCloud or iTunes backup if you're going from an older uh, Apple device. Or you may say, I just want to set up like a new phone. Or they have this new feature which is now move data from Android, which is pretty cool. So it'll actually allow you to transfer all your old information from your whatever Android phone you had to your iPhone, which is pretty cool. In fact, let's see what that looks like really quick move from Android I think there's an app it has you download and then you use that app you put in you put in this code on your Android phone once you have that app on there and then it links together and then it'll transfer the information for now we're going to just set it up as a new iPhone you would have to put in an Apple ID if you don't have one this is your opportunity to create one where you would come down to the bottom and let's see you would go don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. So if you forgot your password, you can do an easy reset right here. So no need to stress about that. But if you know it, go ahead and put it in. I'm gonna just pull it away from the screen really quickly. And we'll get our code in here. Now this is not something you wanna skip because if you try to download anything on the phone, the first thing it's gonna ask you is to sign into your iTunes account. So don't skip it, just figure it out. It'll just save you time for later. And almost done, getting this code in here. I feel like I might have put one letter in wrong. We'll see, yep, verification failed. So we're gonna erase a couple of letters here, try it again. Obviously passwords are pretty annoying and tedious, but they're what keep us semi-safe, so just gotta deal with it. All right, I think that's the right password. We're in. If you know it's, if, if it is the right one, it'll jump you next to terms and conditions. We're gonna hit agree. Feel free to take about an hour and read through all this. It's a lot of jargon, but you know, nice to know what you're covered for. I'm gonna tap agree. Agree. Uh, it's doing a couple of final setup stuff and looks like we're about to be in the phone. Yay! Which I'm really excited about because I just wanted to start playing around with those new features those like touch sensitivity or the long press stuff so 
and Apple Pay, so which is pretty cool. This is a new addition as well. Now you can add your credit card right to this section. So if you do want to pay with your iPhone at retailers that have Apple Pay, um, you can access it automatically. I'm going to skip this for now, but um, I would say, hey, at least set up one card just so you can test out this feature. And if you like it, definitely keep using it. If you don't feel comfortable with it, hey, just skip it. Don't even worry about it. Hit next. It's trying to get me to add a card. I'm going to do setup later in wallet. But this is where you would um, basically be setting up your card. Now, I think I, so this is kind of interesting. It's using the card I have on file. So if I put in that security code, it'll automatically add that card. However, I don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to go set up later in wallet. Um, another cool thing iCloud Keychain. Um, which again keeps all your passwords and credit card information safe and secure um, so you can have it linked up through iCloud which is pretty cool and, and accessible for multiple devices um, for now I'm just gonna hit don't use iCloud keychain I will set that up later uh, for Siri oh I wanted to do the Siri thing I gonna miss that one I always said don't send for this because I feel like when you hit it they have access to extra information of yours which I'm not comfortable with so I always said don't send on this one and then you can finally choose um, what your view is going to be like so it says choose how you'd like to view the iPhone zoomed shows larger text and controls standard fits more on screen you can change this at any time so if your eyes are really good then I would say pick the standard if your eyes aren't that great maybe a little bit older uh, no discrimination just, just give an example um, you would want to do the zoom view, but for me, I'm going to do the standard because I want to see more on the screen and I don't want my text to be larger. So I'm just going to tap on that one. And it even shows you an example so you can actually see what standard and what zoomed look like. It's not a huge difference, but it's enough. So, welcome to the iPhone. Let's get started. And that's it. We are officially set up. And. Now we'll have a bunch of other videos in terms of the new features and how everything works and you know all that good stuff. But obviously the main point of this video was just how to set it up. So that basic walkthrough is complete and we thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.